This is how hard it is for YouTube. So what we're going to do right now is we're going to create a new uh, YouTube account. So what I do is go to YouTube.com and I go over here and I click in create account. So go ahead and click create account and create new account. So what I'm going to do is I, I actually created a new Gmail account just for this. You can use any email address you want. Um, but uh, if you have a G Gmail account and you use a Gmail account after you create your YouTube account, YouTube will actually ask you to if you want to merge your accounts um, because YouTube is part of Google. So you, act, you can actually be logged into Google and Gmail and YouTube all at the same time if you use your Gmail account. Okay, so what it is is Keith Krantz test123 at gmail.com and choose a password and enter it again and let's pick a birth date or just make something up here how about 1980 sounds good and let's see if I can read the letters in the captcha I hate these things LI looks about right it's actually easier to do than Google Google ones are really tough to read and I'll go ahead and save my password and boom okay so it actually told me that I'm logged into YouTube with my Google account so it actually um, already kind of merged them because I'm because I was just logged in a second ago. But um, either way, it doesn't really matter. Um, so right now, I am logged in to my YouTube account and Keith Krantz test one two three. And when you name your YouTube account, you want to try to you know notice how mine is named Keith Krantz, my normal YouTube account. You know, if I had to start all over again, I I, I would probably have renamed that something along the lines of uh, you know maybe dominate web media because that's my company you know something along the lines of what you're doing sometimes it's better because people can really relate to that I don't want to start all over I'm not going to do that but you know just think about that when you're when you're using when you're when you're getting your name and you're getting your uh, your permanent URL so what I'm gonna do now is actually uh, I'm gonna click on my channel here and and uh, let's go ahead and set up your channel so username is Keith France test one two three and it's actually double there we go it's actually making sure right now kind of going through the final step this is kind of a new thing with YouTube and I'm gonna hit to next and we'll go ahead and uh, we'll keep all that set and I'm all done that's it so here's my channel um, pretty cool pretty cool here now First thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go into your themes and colors. You know, you can go ahead and and, and you can pick a theme. Let's do let's do blue. Look at that. You can um, go here, show advanced options right here. And okay, so I can uh, I can take this and I can mess around with the transparency if I want to. Let's go to uh, forty percent and notice how it will it will here. Let's do it this way: transparency uh, thirty percent. And then hit uh, save changes, and it changes the uh, transparency and um, of your the different colors of the blue and and stuff. So let's go back to themes and colors. I can do lots of different things. See, I can change the wrapper color, the uh, text color, the ink color. Let's change the text to black. How about let's click on that and. This thing's acting up a little bit. Hmm. So, so you can change uh, lots of different things right here, and then you can just save changes. And uh, now let's go to my settings. My settings, I, I want to title my page, so let's put... Uh, Keith's test page. Save changes. And I can tag my channel. I can uh, make channel visible. Yes, of course. And uh, videos and playlists. I can, right now it's selected on most recent video and featured set. And we'll keep that. We can pick any video we want. We'll save changes. And voila, we've got a branded YouTube channel. Pretty cool stuff.